I hope everyone is having a happy new year. Normally when it is the end of the year, I like to reflect and do a little bit of a year in review. So uh, in two of the previous years, I did a video version of this, uh, a year in review where I just recap the entire year. And even before that, since like 2015 or 2016, I've been doing medium posts where I uh, write down and reflect on the big moments that happened in the year. I started off the year pretty big, uh, and this is kind of the reason why I didn't do one of these videos last year, because I uh, proposed to Jess at the very beginning of the year. Uh, so the original plan uh, was to propose on January 1st because our first date happened on New Year's Day uh, four years ago. The other part of this, which I didn't really uh, explain in words, was that I came up with this plan to proposed to Jess on a frozen lake because we both really enjoy ice skating. Uh, every single New Year's Day we try to go ice skating and luckily I found out that Mirror Lake up in Lake Placid actually did freeze over uh, around New Year's Day. So we kind of yeah booked this hotel in uh, Saranac, I think it was a Saranac waterfront lodge. And while the lake was frozen over, uh, there was just puddles of water on top of the lake. and. We did walk out to the lake because we saw people on it, even though it looked really, really sketch. Uh, and I just remember thinking to myself, I was like about to propose and I was just kind of looking around and it was like raining and dark and really sad out. And I was like, this is not really how I want to remember this day. So I got cold feet on January 1st and I didn't propose. Um, I looked at the weather and that evening there was supposed to be a huge snowstorm coming in and the temperatures were supposed to dip and drop below zero. And I figured, all right, might not happen on January 1st, which is the day of our first date, but maybe I'll have another chance tomorrow because everything's gonna freeze over overnight. That next day, we went to a diner for breakfast. And of course there was like three to five inches of snow on the ground on the cars. And I remember I was getting really, really nervous. I was like, oh man, I can't get cold feet two days in a row. Like if it's gonna happen, it has to happen today. And I just remember we were walking up to the pathway that goes down to the lake and it was just completely covered with snow. Like you couldn't even see the pathway at all. From behind us, we start hearing like a truck approaching and he literally clears out the path leading down to the lake. It was like an arrow, literally just pointing like this way. It's time, you should do it. I think it actually worked out for the better that it happened on January 2nd because there was nobody out on the lake. Uh, it was funny because Jess is kind of running away from me a couple times and I was trying to bring her back in because I had set up my GoPro on a tripod um, and just let it record. Uh, and I was trying to bring her back closer to the GoPro uh, because it's such a wide angle that we would have been like really, really small, but I was able to bring her back and do it. And that was kind of the, the biggest moment of this year for me, uh, which was, yeah, that, that proposal. Uh, the second big thing that happened in 2022 was uh, the trip to Mammoth. Funny backstory to Mammoth, uh, the last time I went over there to California and to go skiing up at Mammoth was about, uh, I think it was three years ago. I had actually linked up with a friend of mine over in California, um, her name is Puno, and I know she does the freelancing life and all that, and I kind of asked for a little bit of insight on what it is like freelancing and I kind of talked to her about my situation uh, and what I was thinking in terms of transferring over and doing freelancing. And I talked to her about my various options and the other option on the table was joining Jake at the block. And after our conversation, I was pretty much convinced that I ultimately wanted to start my own thing and go into freelancing, but at that time, I wasn't prepared to do it. After that conversation, uh, I literally drove over from chicken and waffles to coffee with Jake and I told Jake, let's do this, um, I'm gonna join the block. And this is three years ago, but now come full circle, um, I'm going to Mammoth again to go skiing um, with my friends this time. And this is all gonna come even more full circle by the end of 2022. Uh, but. Went to Mammoth, there was a big crew of us. It was a great time, it was really, really fun. And then afterwards, Jess uh, linked up with me in LA and uh, we got to hang out with my cousin Roz, who in uh, 
a bunch of videos back, you saw uh, she had moved over to LA. So we got to get a glimpse of her new uh, LA life and all that. And it was just really, really fun to be able to um, experience LA from that lens. And after that, I feel like throughout 2022, I had a stagnant year. Uh, Jess and I usually try to come up with a word of the year and for 2022 I believe my word was output. I wanted to output a bunch of stuff. I just wanted to publish on a lot of things and it just never happened for me this year. I feel like I didn't really post as many YouTube videos. I wasn't creating as much on the side as I wanted to or that I set intentions to and a big reason for that was the block. So uh, back to my story of joining the block three years ago. Um, I think in that first year of working for the block, it was everything that I wanted it to be. Um, I had kind of the freedom to manage more of my time. I think when I was leaving Gimlet, I was getting really burnt out. Work was taking a lot of a lot of my emotional and like mental capacity, and I wasn't able to have time for myself. And I remember in the first year of working for the block, I did have a lot of time for myself and things were really relaxed. But in 2022, um, that was kind of when the block started taking up a lot more of my uh, mental uh, capacity and creative energy. Um, anytime I'm working for a job and I feel like at the end of the workday, I'm like completely drained and I just can't do anything and I come home and all I wanna do is either play video games or sleep, um, that's the moment when I feel like I need to make a change. And I think throughout the spring and into the summer, uh, I really, really felt that uh, with the block. So I feel like there's this huge gap uh, in the spring to the summer where I just felt really stagnant and started to get burnt out. I was doing a lot of work uh, for the block. And that's when I kind of started thinking that a change might be necessary. Uh, so. Fast forward into the summer, uh, we had uh, the next big trip planned. Um, we went to Banff in Canada with Jess's family. And that was a really fun trip. I think it was the first time I ever like spent a long concentrated period of time with Jess's family. And it was pretty fun. And it was kind of a little bit of a change of pace of a trip because whenever I go on trips, it's always like, bang, 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 you gotta like do all of these activities throughout the day and make the most out of the day. But in that trip, I really got a chance to slow down and relax and just enjoy the scenery. Uh, there were, uh, in the evenings, we basically just hung out at the Airbnb after we did all the stuff early in the morning. And it was around that time when I was thinking about how burnt out I was at the block. And mentally, that's when I made the decision that I wanted to leave. Um, and I kind of revisited the thoughts of as required and starting my own thing. And I played out all the scenarios, whether I should start uh, applying for other jobs, going to some interviews and like finding something else. Uh, but that other option was always on the table for the past three years of, of investing 100% of my energy into trying to do my own thing, getting my own clients and starting my own uh, consultancy. After that, uh, I think the next biggest thing that happened was uh, the Chicago trip that Jess and I went to. And this trip was a trip that Jess really wanted to do for herself. And um, I decided to join uh, last minute and do kind of my own little bit of uh, reflection. And by that time, I already uh, had told the block that I wanted to leave and this was over the summer. Uh, this is well before uh, when I actually finally made the leap and, and left the block in December. That Chicago trip was also in itself like an offsite for myself to think about uh, what I wanted this to look like when I did ultimately leave the block. After that, the next biggest thing that happened was getting rid of the studio in Greenpoint. Uh, so all of these decisions leading up to this point of me leaving the block led to uh, November, which was the time when uh, the lease was up at the studio and I had to make a decision of whether or not I wanted to renew again. And considering that I was gonna be taking this leap of 
going totally on my own, not having a full-time job and having to find my own clients and make my own money. It didn't make financial sense to keep the studio. Yeah, I had to make the hard decision to not renew the lease and move out of there. So um, by the end of October, start of November, I had everything moved out of the studio and I shut it down. And that was really a decision that had to be made um, to give me the best chance to succeed and the best launch pad uh, to try and start doing this thing uh, on my own. And after that, um, as you know, the next biggest thing that happened for me was uh, ultimately leaving the block. So December 1st was my last day working for the block. And it's funny because I made the decision all the way back in the summer. And that's when I officially started focusing on as required full time. And that's kind of when things came full circle for me this year in 2022. Um, and even connecting the dots all the way back to three years earlier when I had that conversation with Puno. Um, I'm finally deciding to uh, follow through and try and do this uh, full time. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all have a happy new year. Um, happy 2023. Uh, and I hope all of you also take a moment to reflect on what had happened in your own 2022s. It is a really, really fun exercise and I highly recommend doing it yourself. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next year and in 2023.